Today we're going to be talking about financing your first rental property. Anthony from New Jersey, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise, and folks, here on Holton Wise TV, we're all about helping you get your money right. I got the new hoodie uh, for our newest show, The Money Show. Uh, if you guys like this hoodie, you're interested in it, uh, let me give you a little gift. Go ahead and use the promo code HWTV10 to score 10% off if you like it. You guys might want to check that show out, right? If you're just here for real estate investing, uh, we got a lot of stuff on that. But, you know, there are other ways to get your money right outside of real estate. So if, you, if you're feeling like Holton Wise TV is missing something and, and you'd like to talk about some of the other various ways you can make money or save money, uh, that's definitely the show you want to check out. For me, personally, my purposes, I believe real estate is the very best way to make money. Uh, so that's all I'll be talking about in today's episode, right? This is the show where I work with you guys personally, one-on-one, -on -one, right? I personally work with you one-on-one -on -one to build, grow, and start your real estate portfolios. And I'm working with my dude, Anthony. Anthony, you are from New Jersey, and this is going to be your very first real estate investment. So what I want to start things off with, I want to talk to you about financing this asset, brother, because... I'm gathering from my notes here, from the information that you have given me, uh, that there's a little bit of confusion on how financing your first rental property is going to go versus how you've experienced financing other properties uh, that you had lived in, right? Uh, just a quick note for everybody. Uh, if, you're, if you're new to Holton Wise TV, you're new to this uh, show right now. The way this works is if you guys want to work with me and my team to, to help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio, you go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, MLS Search Analysis Show. You order yourself an analysis video or a package of analysis videos. We do three packs, four packs, ten packs, okay? And what that is is you order that. And then my team, we send you an email, and we ask you a ton of information about yourself, about your wants, your needs, your goals, your real estate experience, what you're trying to accomplish, right? We take that feedback, and then I put together the first of your videos, and I take what you've given me. I find you a property I think will work, but I also lay out... Uh, a, a plan of attack, so to speak, a business plan, right? And I try to enlighten you on things about the Cleveland market, about the business, right? Because truth be told, if you knew everything there was to know about the Cleveland real estate market or you knew everything there was to know about real estate investing in general, there really wouldn't be a need for me, right? So this is kind of a collaborate combination, rather, right? A combination of real estate coaching, business coaching, buyer brokerage services, and then, of course, we'll follow that up with the property management services, insurance, title, buyer agency, the whole shebang, right? So now that I got that all out, Anthony, essentially what you told me you wanted to do, right? You wanted to stay under $90,000. You wanted to pick up single-family homes that cost $90,000 or less. Not a problem, bro. No, no issues there. But the issue uh, is... You had only wanted to put $13,000 into the deal. Now, you told me about the other home you bought, and you live there, right? So the first thing we got to do is tackle financing, okay? Folks, when you buy an owner-occupied property, the financing terms are going to be a little bit different than when you buy a pure rental property, a non owner occupied property right like i know there's house hackers out there too okay and this i think is where you're getting confused anthony you got a multi-family property so you got tenants and you're like hey man this is a rental dude i got tenants it is a rental technically but it's still an owner occupied rental brother what you did is you live in one unit and then you rent out the other units okay 
when you buy your first pure non-owner occupied rental property where you're not going to live there at all the terms are different so if you're going to be doing an owner occupied deal you could possibly get in with one percent down five percent down three and a half percent down right there's ten percent down there's so many different types of loans whether they're conventional fha there's just a, a ton of loans out there okay that you can get for those super low down payments, Anthony. So that's what you did on your last deal. But the game changes a little bit when you're not going to live there. When you're not going to live there, uh, the, the financing is still great. It's still 30 years. It's still fixed interest. It's still low interest. It's still tax deductible. It's still the best game in town, brother. But you don't get 1% down. You don't get 5% down. You don't get 3.5% down. You don't get 10% down, okay? Typically, what you get is 25% down. Now, every once in a while... Uh, on mortgages one through four, folks, you might find a lender who will do it for 15% down if it's single family and single family only. And what I mean by that is one residential unit. Now, when we talk about residential financing overall, typically residential financing qualifies for what is considered residential properties. However, that can include residential properties of one unit, two units, three units, and four units. All right. I know it's getting a little confusing, right? Residential lenders typically consider residential properties anything that has one to four residential units, right? And you can get 10 of those residential mortgages. However, the caveat on top of that, in addition to that, guys, right? In addition to that, one to four residential units, you can get 10 mortgages typically with a 25% down payment. However, sometimes they will allow you to do Four of those, your first four, with only 15% down if it's only one unit. No two units, no three units, no four units. And just remember, too, guys, of those first four, you need to do what my dude Anthony did, okay? You need to make sure that first one, that first one should cover the roof over your head, right? You got you to gotta live somewhere, guys. So when we can do these 10 properties, these 10 loans, rather, and then we talk about these first four loans, we should really be talking about loan two, three, and four, and then loans five through 10. We should never be talking about loan one because I always want you guys to use loan one for home base, Take care of home base first. I love you guys. I love helping investors make money. I love working with you. I love hearing your stories, seeing what we can put together, right? I love taking the information you have and developing a custom strategy for you. But I'm telling you guys, as much as I love doing that, please, if you did not buy your own home just yet and you're not planning on moving out of the market or somewhere else in the next couple of years, Buy your own home first. Utilize mortgage number one for that. And then go ahead and hook up with Holton Wise TV. Hook up with your boy James Wise for mortgages two through ten. So with all that said, since the 15% down stuff is very restrictive, doesn't happen all the time, very few lenders will do that, Anthony. We're going to talk about you getting deals with 25% down, which is what I talk about on probably 99.9% .9 of these shows. And guys, if all this is new to you and you're getting ready to invest and all this sounds good and uh, you don't have a lender just yet, send an email, sales at holdenwise.com. My team will get you the list of lenders that we have. These are lenders that will work with you guys. So long as you live in any of the 50 states in the United States of America, you have decent credit and you have solid W-2 income, good debt-to-income ratio. These lenders, guys, if you are like my man, you're living out in Jersey and you want to buy a house in Jersey, cool. They could help you do that. You could live in Jersey, you want to buy a house in Cleveland. You could live in Jersey, buy a house in California. You could live in California, buy a house in Texas. They could take care of you. We even have lenders that could take care of people that are outside of the U.S. Uh, but everything I just said... And none of that's going to count, okay? If you're outside of the U.S., totally different ball game, folks. Uh, terms are still pretty decent, but they are not going to touch these terms we're talking about. So if you're out of the U.S., you're not a U.S. citizen, sales at holdenwise.com will hook you up. But remember, everything I've said thus far or will continue to say during the rest of this show is not necessarily going to apply to you when we're talking about the specifics of the loan. So, Anthony, with all of that said, okay, if you were to buy a $90,000 property, right, let's just take 90 k divide that by 4, you would need to put down $22,500, right? That's pretty much the minimum. So your goal 
of only putting down 13000 is probably not going to happen. So what I did is I pulled this property for you because I like this property quite a bit, and I think it's going to be a little bit of best of both worlds, right? The value so much lower, okay? 326 11th Street, Elyria, 44035. Listed for 69900 just two days ago, dude. This is a, is a beautiful home, dude. It's a nice home. Another thing you told me, you didn't want to do a lot of renovations, right? So I picked this thing up, right? Like, this is looking smooth, man. We got nice hardwoods in here. Like, dude, these are great. Now, when we typically do our rentals, our turnovers, we usually go... Uh, white on the trim, but this trim is this classic trim in such good shape. You don't need to worry about that. You can go ahead and pretty much leave this as is. These folks made this thing totally ready to go, right? Is the kitchen my favorite kitchen in the world? No. If I was renovating the kitchen, I would, of course, make it look a little bit more modern than this. But for our purposes, this is totally serviceable. I do not want you to waste any money on something that's not broke, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So for all intents and purposes, this is a rent-ready house, right? This thing is looking good. It's clean. It's fresh. Now, after we get a third-party home inspector in there and we get our team in there, you know, we may... We may find a few things, uh, and there may be a couple grand before we can put a tenant in there on Section 8. But other than that, everything is looking good. And, like, even in, like, this room, and I saw a couple of the other rooms, like, maybe the, the trim in some of these rooms wasn't as uh, nice or fresh uh, or well-preserved is the, is the stuff that they left with the natural wood. So they already went in for us and painted that white. So I, I kind of actually like the contrast having a couple, right? Gives you a, a little bit of the best of both worlds so to speak right you know looks like we got a pretty new one piece tub surround there so you know all in all man this thing is basically ready to go this is an unfinished attic this is not living space just so you know this is just bonus space storage space you got your basement you got an updated electrical panel right there Look at this furnace, brother. Big ticket items, things that matter. I don't know if it's brand, brand new, but it looks pretty brand new. So I'm going to guess it's only a couple years old, if not brand new. Hot water tank's probably a couple years old, but looks like it's in pretty damn good shape to me, man. So this this house, dude, I like this thing. It's been very well taken care of. One other thing, too, which really helps, guys, right there. Central air. It gets hot in the Cleveland market uh, during the summer months, but... In these C-class neighborhoods, which, by the way, this is a C-class neighborhood, total blue-collar neighborhood, uh, it's not that common to actually see the central air. A lot of the tenants are used to bringing their own uh, window units. So this is going to really keep those tenants in your property for the long, long haul, really reduce those turnovers, right? So all told, man, I dig this house, I love this house, and you don't have to spend anywhere near 90000 for it. Listed at sixty nine nine. we're going to come in, we're going to try to take it down for sixty five. Now... If the agent box and they're like, nope, $69.9 on the dot, bro, you got to pay $69.9. That's a solid house, right? But let's try to get it for $65. As I said, there may, we may find out later, we got to do a couple grand worth of knickknack stuff uh, just to get it Section 8 approved through all the inspections and the requirements and all that jazz. But I don't really see anything right now. So just $65 is our investment. That'll get us a tenant paying a minimum of 1000 bucks a month. Might even be a little higher, but 1000 bucks a month on the Section 8 program is what we should really be shooting for. Of that 1000 brother, four ninety nine. That's That's what I anticipate it's going to cost on an average basis to operate this property and that's going to include fixed expenses like taxes property management fees insurance which by the way folks we do insurance here so even if you're not buying from us on holton wise tv if you're a landlord you got properties coast to coast click the show notes below click the show notes below okay and let us give you a free quote all we do is landlord insurance so we might be able to reduce your premium right and then i've even included things like the variable expenses for you dude because transparency is my number one thing so like repairs maintenance vacancy capex right all told, all three of those, line item for the year, 600 a piece, that's 1800 That's actually money that's coming back to you in your pocket, why things are good, why things are producing. But I don't calculate that as part of you guys' return. Why? Because that'd be disingenuous. If you're talking to a turnkey provider or a real estate investment coach or guru or whatever the fuck you want to talk about, okay? If they don't fucking tell you that that type of stuff happens in this business, that you need to save for that, they're disingenuous. They're not shooting you straight, right? There's costs in this business. Section 8 tenants are great. 
having a nice house like that's great, but it's still a C-class neighborhood, or even if it wasn't a C-class neighborhood, dude, part of the real estate game is people don't pay all the time. That happens, dude. There's nothing we can do to prevent that. We're doing a lot of stuff to mitigate that, keep it to a minimum, but you got to account for that because, dude, that's part of the job now, right? If you're a plumber, if you're a plumber, you're going to get shit on you one day. That, that happens, okay? If, if you're thinking about becoming a plumber, you're going to have to get pooped on one time. There's going to be some poop on you, right? Similar to that, you're going to be a real estate investor. You're going to be a landlord. Somebody's going to stiff you on rent, so we're going to account for that. When they do stiff you on rent or when tenants turn over naturally, there's going to be some fix-ups in between tenants. That's what the repairs and maintenance cover. And then that big, beautiful new furnace, that is great. But in 30 years, we're going to need a new one. It's going to be about $3,000, okay? So that's what the CapEx is. In addition, right, we haven't been given much information on the roof. So I think it's like mid mid-life. That's probably like a $6,000 roof. Those last $3,000. So eventually, those costs are going to come. So that's why I calculate for those. I save for those, and I don't consider those your ROI, okay? So with what we do consider your ROI, about $6,000 a year, with the 65000 target price point, that's a 9.3 cap. And here's where it gets good, brother. Those lenders, right, we're not going to hit uh, your original target of that 13000 But with the fact that this property is so much lower than your original budget, your original budget was $90,000, i am trying to get you this for sixty five, right? You only need 16250 right? So we're only 3200 bucks off. That would be an estimated cash-on-cash cash return of 21.9%. So if that deal makes sense for you, if all the new information I've given you makes sense for you, I want you to reply to this private link, uh, and then we can get that... Uh, offer written up for you, negotiate with the listing agent, we'll make your offer contingent on a third-party home inspection, and we'll go from there. One more thing I want to hit you too, brother. You had asked me uh, if you should put the deal in an LLC or you should buy it in your own name. That's a very good question, and I actually did a video specifically on that in the Ask James Y series, so I'm going to include that in the show notes below. Any and everything you need to know about when and when you should not utilize an LLC is going to be in that video. So check that out. That will answer all your questions, Anthony. And if for some reason you don't want to do this deal, that's totally cool. Give me your feedback on this video. And when I make your next video, we will make the necessary adjustments. That is all I've got for you folks today. Everybody else who's watching this who's not Anthony, remember I sent this to Anthony privately a couple months ago. So this deal... It's not available. This is just available for you guys to learn for free. If you actually want to do deals and you actually want to work with me and my team, go to HoldenWise.com, order a package of MLS search and analysis shows, and we can get started. New viewers out there, do yourselves a solid and smash that subscribe button because HoltonWise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.